Ladies and gentlemen, you're most welcome back. Willkommen, willkommen to the Jimodism kanal. Jimodism no genre, yo koso, fune o tatemasho. My Spanish is not good enough, so never mind. Let's stop here. So. Uh, what are what, what has not happened? Honestly, what has not happened? I've been building with this ship a little too long, and I want to send out a extremely respectful f you to a certain individual who's recommended me to scrap this entire design, rebuild this hull because this hull can never win. <clears throat> And I want to send this out, because you might be right. I am a little bit disappointed with this, sh uh, with this uh, ship's performance. Yes, I'm sorry to say it. Let us um, disable GPU Ocean for now. Just because, um, yeah. Then we can know where the waterline is. But yeah, I've, um, I'm not very happy about this uh, ship's performance. Um, I'm struggling a little bit to make it work and like cost effective and to beat bigger targets reliably. Right now, it doesn't really beat bigger targets reliably. No, it doesn't. We're going to... God, it, oh, I know we will be fighting without the GPU ocean, but it doesn't look good. It's uh, I'm suffering when building, so we turn it on again. Okay, so what's happening here? You can see the waterline is pretty low, we're pretty heavy. I've added this little pontoon structures here on the side, because I thought that we're dealing too much damage to the crams on the side here. And to prevent shots penetrating too far, I want them to be able to detonate outside in this little area here. And perhaps it will lead away some of the damage. But as uh, small changes, one thing I really uh, am very annoyed over is that the texture on the cram cannons, the brass stuff here, now looks uh, absolutely awful. God damn it, it updated the alpha and it kind of did that to all my cannons. And it's not, it's like, no, my detailing, what are you thinking about? Unacceptable. <clears throat> Anyways. So, the big elephant in the room, what the hell is this? This is a new turret. And I'm experimenting with several weapon in one turret design. This is a T-17, it's a really big turret. It's pretty well armored, it's heavy armor, and then it's heavy armor one layer in the turret and heavy armor outside the turret. <clears throat> the entire thing is insulated by EMP. About that. Uh, some of you asked how to do this. Click the end button on your keyboard. If you don't have a full-size keyboard, get the full-size keyboard. Then you go... <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's just my preference. I like full size. But I understand it's better to game with a 60%. Never mind, whatever. Uh, then uh, go to the left right cutter and select cut below. <clears throat> and here you can see. And the really smart thing with this is that you can actually build. You can retrofit and build stuff and it won't you won't run into any issues. You can like build on this side. If you build from the middle to this side, it will do the same changes to this side, if you're building a symmetric build. If not, then you can't use this. Anyways, <coughs> let us turn off this thing. All right, so what do we have here? The cram systems and the pack system is in this side. And then I'm, I want to have APS here. And it is one layer of rubber, so it's insulated via from EMP with one layer of rubber all around this turret well. And the turret well is one layer of heavy armor like that. Inside it we have another layer of heavy armor inside this turret. And a lot of metal on top. And this is a combo turret. It uses pack, it uses two crams, and I'm going to have a APS system on it. 
we're having some of these uh, this stuff here that to detonate any uh, hash shells in case we face them all right we added some more rams uh, because one of the uh, like end of life protocols in this ship is to ram it just goes straight through the enemy and ram and we're so damn big and heavy that uh, even though we come in slow speed we do a serious amount of damage this torpedo system here costs 100,000 something uh, I'm starting to think I might remove this entire thing if we don't afford what we need I have um, fleshed out some areas a little bit here and there here are some ghost steam engine I don't remember if I showed you this steam engine but I've made a steam engine set up here that generates ridiculous amounts of power it's uh, it's kind of powerful actually I'm, I'm god I need to check this um, I actually think I didn't show you this um, this is a rather large steam engine and this thing generates uh, do, 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 do. how much does it generate oh we need to check it full load but it loads a shit ton of energy right right it just fills up our energy storage really bad and we got uh, we got another steam engine here and they're just stuck stuck here actually uh, it sh we should have some kind of maximum materials per second what? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Boiler materials used. No, what, what? kinetic crankshaft lock. Lock stats. Uh, is it like this? No. Well, in any case, we're we're, we're having some different like stuff here. I think. Oh, I I know where I can find this value. Load. Let's see here. Uh, each one of these steam engines, I call them the steamed pork because I don't know, uh, it generates uh, 23k power. Uh, I wanted to have a decent power setup. Uh, I wanted to have some extra power in order to be able to generate power for the laser as well as generate the power for the shields because I've added shields as well. Here we have a little detection tower. It has detection systems, munition warners and stuff like that. It also has heat and radar decoys. About decoys, we have a little classical um, DK for decoy, not DK, DK. What gymnasium, what are you actually saying? It's a, it's a sonar decoy, yeah? In any case, uh, we're be becoming expensive, or 1.5 millions by now, and as rightly pointed out, um, I had insulated the bottom part of this thing, and then I just casually attached the heavy armor to the metal on top. This has now been fixed, it wasn't fun, but the heavy armor is uh, detached from the metal on top of here. And we also got some surge protectors going on there. And I kind of feel like I don't want them to connect. Yeah, let's... And I think I'll need this inner insulation layer, by the way. I'm just... I'm a little bit scared that the EMP is leaking. So I'm just removing this little layer here. And to be honest, it's probably a good idea to have, so I'm re-adding it, but with a block or free space there. Okay, because I imagine we're gonna have some extra system inside of here. I'm thinking to either have a lamb system sticking up in here, or having a uh, another weapon, maybe some vertical missiles or stuff like that. Sorry, microphone. <clears throat> right. So, oh no, volume on the microphone is kind of weird. Uh, well, anyways. I think we need to... Anyways, uh, so what's happening here? Here we have the laser turret. 
And uh, something I also realized myself was that this, these, uh, maybe I can, maybe I can do the cut off a little bit. Maybe this is better. Okay, so now this is the mill. Okay, so here we have the weapons controller, and here we have rubber. I uh, insulated it with rubber, with one block of rubber on each side, and it seems to be okay. You you need to protect it there, 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 and there, but you don't need to protect the corners like that. The corners do not attach, which makes sense. But uh, I've insulated this because it was popping all over, all over the place, and I also secured this turret. Uh, by adding a couple of uh, surge protectors inside of it, uh, inside the base of the turret, so that the uh, EMP damage kind of stays in the turret. Because if we if we put heavy EMP damage to this thing, they will actually jump to this turret block through one meter of rubber and to the main construct. Anyways. So that's kind of bad, but uh, the EMP protection from this uh, little build has improved significantly since I've uh, made sure to deattach it and make sure that no connection points are in there. And we have it EMP protected, you know, insulated with rubber, very nice. I have decided to remove the other laser turret because I thought that both turrets didn't do enough damage and one of the turrets did enough damage and uh, no, not enough damage. One turret did better damage if all of the power of this huge laser system, this big honking laser, was put into one turret. And this turret was so well built, in my tests it hasn't been destroyed yet. It will probably sometime, but I felt that we didn't need a redundancy for this system because the turret is not the weak point. The laser is kind of the weak point and we would end up with in this entire thing EMP'd and uh, both of the turrets completely intact, which was kind of weird. Yeah, so that's uh, that's something I've done. Uh, I've made sure also to only keep the higher turret here because we want to be able to shoot over uh, this uh, turret we're building too, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so we're getting a little bit expensive. We have added some really interesting little fun buildings here. Whoops. Uh, so let's let's turn off the cutting here. And you can see we have a little hut here where we can sit and drive the vehicle. And you can go and walk up here. We have another area at the side here. We have something going on there. And I thought to probably have a little bridge over or whatever. I don't know. It's kind of fun. We also did, we also made this rudder a huge amount longer, uh, so we can really steer faster. And we added this little anti-roll construction sticking down there too. And we didn't make it too strong because I realized that when we are rolling to the enemy, a more more of the turrets will actually be able to face the enemy, which is kind of handy. Yeah. So that is kind of that and we need to develop this little third here here we have lamb systems and i i'm sorry i just took the lamb prefab here it's definitely too weak so i'll need to replace this unfortunately uh, but i want to add something during tests okay is there anything i failed to show you um i've removed all the laser guidances from the missiles because um it kind of felt like it worked before but to be honest after some updates it seems that the torpedoes are not following the lasers anymore it seems that the lasers um won't work underwater anymore so I'll just remove the laser system, installed one turns and sonars and signal processors and stuff like that. So yeah, I had to do that. Okay. Um, I've installed detection. As you can see here, we have a little bit of detections going on on top of this turret. I've got side cameras there. 
And I've got a front camera, which I'm quite happy about. Right here. And on the other side. And they can look straightforward. Um, we had some... Look, here we have sonars like that. I've added anti-missile missiles going on down there. Um, yeah, so that's that's nice, I suppose. Um, yeah. I think that's kind of it. I don't know if I accidentally like failed to save this. Uh, I think I maybe did. So we're going to save it. I hope I don't save over. Uh, did I remove a block randomly and forgot about it? I don't know. Uh, here we have a 360 camera and here we have a 360 IR camera to be some auxiliary detection basically. And we have some munition warners here and there and stuff like that. So uh, we are going to look at this uh, vehicles like firepower and of course it's not finished yet but for just the fun of it let's actually spawn something formidable like the bbs fifth season right <clears throat> so what's gonna happen here we wonder we don't really know we can see our laser is burning here um it is it is doing like serious damage you can see it took off some blocks inside of there and we're going to get back to our power. By the way, we generate 146,000 power. That's absolutely insane. I never made anything to generate this much power. It's absolutely insane. But it's to run the shields. We have max strength shields here. And yeah, we kind of need them. You can see we are tilting a little, 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 little bit. What are this? Okay, never mind. Laser is going on here. Um, here we have this beautiful little turret. Let's see if we can see the pack firing. It's a piercing pack. Oh no! It got damaged. Why? What happened? Unsafe. Oh no! One arm is defective. What? I, I kind of double checked this. Um... These are not EMP susceptible. I was so surprised that the particle cannons are not EMP susceptible, but apparently they are not. But something damaged one of the arms, so that's weird. Um, yeah. What are the values here? The fifth season is at 98%, the Draconia is at 98%, so it's, it's even so far. Let's just turn off that. Um, what is happening here? I wonder. And uh, it has some torpedoes too. So do we. And it uh, also has some uh, some uh, stuff that takes out our EMP. And I'm happy it's kind of slow enough for our crams to actually hit. Like, of course our crams will hit, but like our mortars as well. And well... BBS 5th season got mortars too. Um, now this this ship doesn't have a heavy lambs system to just lamb our shells out of existence, which is very convenient for us. Uh, but uh, we are trying to annoy it with a constant stream of uh, small missiles. They won't do much to be honest. They ain't doing much. We got some smalls, we got some mediums, and they are just annoying as hell. And they're supposed to keep uh, detection down and uh, lambs busy. But yeah, you can see we can't take out the cramps coming in there. The BBS she, uh, sh ships are also are always she's. She can't take out our cramps, which is very fortunate for us. Uh, we can't take out her crams either because our lambs is a miserable failure. It's a prefab, so 
I don't take the blame. But yeah, our pack doesn't hit very often at this distance, to be honest. But um, our crimes do. Our laser is a reliable source of uh, energy going on there. Um, something is wrong with the laser, though. What's happening? Do we have a problem with the laser here? No energy available. Wow. Some of that EMP got through anyways. Okay, we seem to have a... What is going on here? Why are all the lasers disconnected? This is kind of bad. Uh, so, from my little shaking here, I don't think... Let's go our laser transceiver. It doesn't take EMP damage. The laser connectors don't either. So, yeah, that was interesting to see. I don't know what hurt our lasers. We don't have any materials. What the hell? Uh, oh no, sorry. Oh. oh no. Oh, sorry. No. I misclicked. I misclicked. Yeah, uh, so I kind of misclicked. We accidentally repaired this entire vessel, so now it's very uneven. But, god damn it, it's still at 93% anyway, so I don't know. It's a superior ship, but our ship isn't finished, so uh, yeah. And now, of course, the laser is back online. Uh, because, you know. Repaired everything. God damn it, there's so much holes. It really gets through here. Man. Ah, we need to have some era. We need to. We need to fill. We, we probably are gonna replace some empty, like. Or like metal blocks inside of there with era instead. Mm. We're playing degraded mood. How oh, nice. There, that's the EMP at well. Uh, no, not the EMP. The um, that's the pack. Oh yeah. So can we even win when we shot it this much? It uses alloy. In my school of uh, in my school of from the depth, which I've learned when building this game, uh, alloy is. Uh, a despicable abom abomination and you should never build with alloy and except you want to be very fast very undetectable and very uh, in the air or something but uh, I don't know it might honestly not matter very much uh, alloy is probably pretty decent but I kind of prefer wood for floating so yeah maybe that's just me um, it seems our laser is back offline again. We need to check what happened here. Oh. It actually destroyed the laser turret. We did we did manage to like shoot it clean off there. Oh yeah, that's not good. Not good at all. All right. The crams, the cram mortars are still surviving. They're doing a decent job. Uh, to be fair, this ship isn't finished yet, you know. But uh, it's more expensive than uh, the fifth season already, so uh, it's uh, uh, it's not the best, you know. This cram cairn is shot off. Uh, I'm glad the main turret, where, which we're gonna have some. AP frag maybe uh, APS on I'm, ga I'm glad it's still alive I really need to know uh, or learn how to make uh, uh, what are they called dejection not dejection ejection fuse stuff thing for the loaders and stuff like that but yeah 
So what are the stats? Draconia 93, 5th season 90. Ah, it's a tough thing this. It's a really tough thing. Like, I won't be happy with this battleship until it beats the 5th season. We're gonna be a little bit more expensive, but... Uh, you know, this ship is made by a really good builder, and I'm not at that level yet. So, uh, even though it will be a couple of hundred thousand more expensive, uh, I'm happy as long as we can beat this thing. Then I have uh, good hopes for us to win, uh, win the battles. We shall see, however. Um, yeah. Because this is... It is cheaper. It's insane. It's at 88% just how much damage can this thing take? It's like a solid metal alloy slab. It seems to be a pretty good uh, way to do... Uh, oh, and we, what? Do we have some super thin steams in there? I think we do. Lots of hour gaps and stuff like that, yeah. It's a very well made ship. But uh, this takes forever. Um, we're gonna destroy this thing and get back to building on, on our ship a little bit. But at least I've kind of showed... I I've shown you what's, you know, been going on. Okay, now we're repaired. Uh, I don't know. I think the sound kind of cuts out whenever it lags too much. So I'll say it again. Um, I think I've shown you what has been going on here. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's good, I guess. Um, now I don't know, did these, did my little solid missile stream, what happened with these? Shaped charges. I don't know, did it, did it get to him? sure but anyways um, this is where we are at and today I believe we are going to make that little APS th system so we can actually finish off this turret uh, the laser is properly insulated I think I don't think I can do it any better uh, and it and if it, that is good enough or not that's uh, up for you to decide but uh, yeah, I, I I don't think I can do it much better, to be honest, so... In any case. Alright, so I have successfully... Um, put ERA inside of this laser turret. And hopefully, uh, it's now surrounded by ERA on the sides and the front. And the back we won't face to the enemy. If we, if, if, we, if we face the back to our enemies, we probably are already kind of dead, so we don't need to... <coughs> but uh, we have Eryo, beautiful. So uh, now we should continue uh, and making this turret. So I'll be back with you when I have kind of uh, set up a main outline of what uh, we will stuff into that uh, APS we're gonna stick in here. Kind of a little bit off the bat like that, just I'm thinking about a ammo ejectable uh, 8 meter armor piercing EMP thing, maybe? I'll see. Okay, there is the mic. So here we have it. This is a weird little setup with 8 meter autoloaders um, with some spaces in between to supposedly add some. Uh, coolers or um, gauge increasers or recoil absorbers, something like that. But yeah, this is what I've stuck in here. Uh, I think we'll have a single stack of them. I don't think we'll have two um, because we need to add a couple of. Uh, where is that? Would be that high? Okay. Uh, we want to have diffuses on them, right? We want to have diffusing capabilities. So, uh, 
the diffusers, oh no, where should we add these then? Yeah, that's, it's a little bit tricky, it's like, we need to add them on the thing. No, that's not possible, I need to move them somehow. Maybe I can add, uh, maybe I can have the ejectors on the back side or something. Alright, uh, but anyways, uh, what I wanted to tell you was that um, we'll need to have a diffuse on the shells because, because I don't see a conceivable way to eject a block of outloaders like this. Um, it's just not possible to eject them because we're in a turret well. We need to throw them up over here in that case. And since we can't make a path because every, every, each and single one of these need a defuse. So we can't make a path of them. Yeah. That's a little bit difficult. But whatever, we're, uh, we're going to solve it somehow. But that's just the little update. It's gonna be 500 millimeters, of course. Um, and yeah, it looks pretty intimidating, I think, this turret. I'm happy. All right, we're building a little bit here and I just realized that if you go into <laughs> the the uh, ammo controller, you can actually add a shell with up to 12 parts without needing the ammo controller block. What? Very strange. What the hell? Oh my god. I was very surprised. Wait, what? No. This is weird. They're not supposed to be more than like 12, are they not? Okay, I think that's a bug. Okay. Armor piercing, edit. Really? I didn't know they could be like larger. So we can do up to 20 parts? Clip length required. No, 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 no. They can be max eight. Okay. Anyways, we have the emergency ejection fuse there. Um, maybe we should add some solid warhead bodies to add some more penetration. If I just add solid, okay, that's it. We can have another EMP then. Maybe that's okay, I don't know. So, um, possibly this could be an interesting thing. It should uh, automatically just be uh, explode when we penetrate good enough, since that's how APS works, not crams. Anyways, um, 16 parts, okay, assign, assign all unassigned intakes. 169 minutes, oh, what the hell, edit, okay. This is weird. Uh, it seems a little bit too long, right? 10 parts, add shell, edit. Weird. And we can have a rail draw stat here. Cool. That's good, we can speed them up a little bit for eight meter clip. Uh, clip length, all right. Well, it seems to be working. We seem to be able to have a shell like that with 16 parts. And each magazine contains two shells. All right. So possibly that's that's nice. Uh, maybe we can just do a little thing here where we kind of teleport here with a share. Thank you. All right. Are we? 
can't fire. Why? Oh. Uh, yes, I added some rail parts to this thing. Um, if we just go in here to railgun and APS do, 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 do. idle angle synchronization okay railgun uh, maximum energy per shot uh, allow railgun to far when partially charged okay good wrong still turning okay there we go so this is a wait that's that's the wrong shell here okay we'll need to do like this refill APS shells very nice that should be the shell nice little steel hat on there armor piercing EMP seems to be a pretty decent thing nice well will be interesting to see what this kind of uh, what damage it does um, right so inaccuracy from instability recoil we need recoil absorbers for sure um, if we just go into one of the ammo intakes edit so we don't need that's weird that's where we can just edit it and just add an ammo just out of thin air like that I don't know if this is a good shell. I think it's a kind of good shell. Uh, the emergency defuse is necessary because uh, our our ejectors are down here at the bottom. So they will just dump the unused ammo in the bottom of the well and eventually it will fill up and everyone will be very sad. But uh, other than that, it seems perfectly sensible. Right, so outlaw limit 19 rounds per minute. Ammo intake limit is 15 rounds per minute. That's a problem. And the cooling limit is 25. We don't need more cooling. We need more of other stuff. I wonder where we can add more ammo intakes. Um, I can basically replace because we have two layers of coolers. We don't. We never know how many coolers we need. Um, we can just add some extra ammo intakes a little bit here and there. Kinda, I believe. Not like too many. We want the redundancy there as well, but uh, there we can add another one and a sign. Select. Okay. Anyways, and now we have. We need a couple more and then we should be set to be honest. That's probably an important connection. This is probably not. A sign. And what values do we have now? 16 ammo intake. We need to add a few more. Okay. And there we go. Now we should have added so many ammo intakes, so we are matching the outloader limit. Um, yeah, that's great. We don't need more cooling, which is cool as well. Cool, ha 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 ha. Boring Germanism, it's very boring. So we should be able to add some of these uh, gauge increasers instead. Right, we don't want the gauge to drop unnecessarily. So I'm going I'm going to do a little weird thing here. I'm going to have an entire line of gauge increases right inside of here. And that will probably be enough if I remove all the gauge increasers we set here momentarily. Our gauge is still 500. Awesome. But I'm not going to be satisfied with that. I'm going to add another node of these. Um 
probably right here actually. So an tower like node like that, they're kind of cheap as well. So we have them at two places. We have uh, these gauge increasers. Right, so even if we get some damage, we should be able to keep the gauge. If not, the entire thing gets kind of blown up. Right, and then we need also recoil absorbers. The longest one is eight meters. And I uh, don't remember how many we need. It's like recoil absorption. Yeah, we'll add two there, two more here. Um, and if the recoil is a problem, we'll see it when we fire and we can add more. We have lots of space to do that as well, so it's no problem. And the fact remains we don't really know how good this shell will be, but yeah. We have to start somewhere, don't we? Okay, so... Um, we want to have some sturdy kind of little framework thing for this. I'm tempted to copy the shape we have on this side to make it a nice pattern here as well. Got the slope there. And we would just want to surround this with like heavy armor so that if we get a direct hit, we should be able to take it. Or that's, that's the goal anyways, to just be able to take it. All right, so we have heavy armor four meter beams all around and if you're new to from the depth for some reason um, it looks weird but it kind of works um, the barrel looks like it's locked in but actually it isn't it's completely free-flowing if you know it doesn't make sense but uh, that's how it is we're just adding a couple of these here and we have this all right and we can add blocks there and then i think that behind this layer we can add a layer of era going on there because that's good to have too Something like that. Right, so that's uh, that should be protected enough. Good. And what's happening now? We have a little rail charger. Oh yeah, we need to have uh, we need to have railgun chargers as well. That's kind of important. And these boys are quite the expensive part. And the good thing with having a, a system that we have is that even though um, like we don't need to have the rails to be able to fire, it's just like a bonus thing going on there. So actually, let's just go into it and see railgun, charging time, fire rate, Let's see our shell. Da, 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 da. Are we? Is it what? Is that all the rail chargers we need? Railgun. Maximum energy per shot. All right. Now what? Kind of confused. Let's see our railgun go in there. Because our outloader limit is... Okay. Now I'm just gonna test here. No. It's weird because our outloader limit is 19.8 and the ammo is 19.8 and the cooling is... Um, well... 23 and the weird thing is that our fire rate is limited to 19.1 but it's it's not connected to the railgun chargers it's weird 
Alright, charging time. Yeah, okay, whatever. It'll be a little bit differently speeded like that. We're gonna we're gonna balance how many chargers we need up a little bit later. Um, yeah, right now I'm just going to I kinda wanna test this thing. It's 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 that too. Right, so basically, uh, now we have 3.14 seconds per shot. I added more of these railgun magnets uh, to be able to, well, get more power into the shells. And it now has a, a cap of 50,000, and the max we can have for the shell is 65,000. And this has a charging time of uh, 27 seconds. So we of course allow it to charge, uh, to fire when partially charged. But this uh, 70, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, we need a lot more rail chargers, that's for sure. Uh, so inside of here we got the da, 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 railgun chargers. And I suppose we're just gonna add a lot more of them wherever we can like fit them and stuff like that. So there is an area and uh, we need we need a lot actually. Was this this a space? Yeah, that's a free space. We can fill it up with a railgun charging unit. Right. So if we go in here, what it changed? Eight seconds uh, per shot. Well, that's much better. We probably need just one row more. Uh, what's our cost? These parts are expensive. Like each of these chargers is like 400 materials. So we shouldn't put them down lightly. No, we should not indeed. Anyways, in case I've kind of missed like we have some free spaces like this here. I'm just shaking a little bit here. All right. Oh, there we have one. No, yes, there we have one. Right. Well, we can use the space. Um, we'll just put it like that actually if we just fill that area up here we can have a little bank of them here anyways these are very much no what they're not EMP susceptible are you kidding me what how how can they not be oh well what the hell that's great that's great, um, great for us. Right, so here we have like three rows and uh, well, here we got some of these blocks. We should be able to change it to this direction and this one to this direction, this direction and hook up coolers like that and then I'm thinking that we can have some gauge increasers to connect them up maybe are they connected they are just to uh, kind of have some have them spread out a little bit basically all right so what's happening here railgun 4.1 seconds Ooh. We'll just need a few more and then we actually are at the limit we can fire at. That's quite amazing. Right, so we have some blocks there. Do we have free space here? No, and what about the corner here? Oh, it's full, okay. So, we'll need to utilize one other. Okay, what's happening here then? No. Well, right, I just realized I didn't have to bring you on for all the tuning of those. But now, 
the uh, that's wrong now the railgun charge is 3.9 seconds which is great we'll see if our power is actually can actually sustain in this or, or if we need to add some kind of uh, energy generation or even more batteries but uh, yeah that's nice they are now the same I don't know if the recoil is too much but I think this is a this is a functioning turret to be honest uh, it seems to be pretty pretty okay and I'm so shocked that the um, railgun parts are not EMP susceptible I kind of have this flashback feeling of me realizing this before but I mean that's great that's me that means we don't have to EM we don't have to uh, insulate them anything we can just add some of this heavy armor for like stability here just around those important bits and yeah very nice of course we shouldn't overdo it with the heavy armor but it's so darn important this system doesn't get blown up so that's why I'm a little bit a little bit too like trigger happy with the EMP components I believe all right so we can add a few there and I'm thinking god damn it what how dark are they not and I just realized no they are not dark it is that I painted the other ones white right so something like that maybe and of course um, this should be a protectable layer there we're gonna add that later uh, but right now I kind of want to just test fire this thing all right am I not close to it and okay, now okay, right there So we're inside of this thing just to look at uh, right uh, da -da -da -da, cooling limit rate of fire okay recoil rail use no okay thank you rail use okay capacity recoil It seems to be doing okay. No. Okay, there we go. Where is it now? Inaccuracy. Oh, there we have. From recoil. We need a few more recoil absorbers, but otherwise it seems to be pretty balanced. Right. Like, it's... I know, it's, it's simple to see the stats. It's just... I don't know about you, I just get so confused when the numbers are moving. It's plainly just bad design. Uh, the m numbers moving around like that does probably make many people a tiny bit confused. Anyways, now we're adding recoil absorbers there. We don't, we don't have any base bleed or stuff like that, but well... Right. Now we fired a, a little bit there. Inaccuracy from recoil. Alright. Maybe we should make it a little bit more accurate. Yeah, it's it's like a degree. We're firing at big targets, I know, but uh, even though I don't know, I don't like to build stuff that is specific for one purpose only. Even though we're gonna face other battleships mainly, I want this thing to be genuinely good against other targets as well. Um, not like only our battleships, so that's why I'm kind of wanting to add some systems there. Can add that there. Get rid of this one, we can add it there. 
And then we can have uh, these cute small recoil absorbers here and there. Uh, but actually, I know our cooling is good enough, but no, nah, whatever. Okay. Right, so something like that maybe. Maybe we can add more, but uh, we can add them at other places as well. So, uh, let us just fire a few shots here again, just to test. Oh yes. Did that even change? I think we might need more uh, like a good bunch more recoil absorbers. I feel I feel we can have it more higher up in the turret, but actually we should actually check if this thing even like works. How good it is against the uh, enemy target. And to do that, I think we're going to I think we're going to spawn a stronghold and turn off so, turning off the Stronghold's AI. Right. And I kinda wanna... We should actually test this target, or this turret in another way here. Right, so if we go in here, damage debugging, record uh, projectile effects, right? Okay. And here we kind of want to see what type of damage the turret does. Possibly we are going to... We're going to fire it ourselves. But let's just speed up time here and see if if we got the shell incoming. Right? No? Okay, what's happening here? What is happening with my turret? Oh, there we got the shell away. Excellent. Let me... It's very fast, of course. That's a big miss, though. God damn it. Mm. Right. We should probably fart ourselves. Oh! Did it got taken out by the lambs? That was a little bit unexpected. It's super fast as well. I can't... Oh no, it's hard to see which weapon is which, though. So the thing is like this. Um, we'll go back to normal speed. We shall indeed even disable our own AI. And that didn't work. Oh, right. It's more like that. Disabling the uh, firing, yeah. And this can be like whatever. Um, this window is small. Activate. Do, 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 do. There is a small, very cute bird running around at my window, but it's. Uh, I don't know what it's called in. It's a call trust, but I don't know what that's in English. Anyways. If we now, oh God, this thing causes lag though. Right, damage debugging, clear all. Uh, and the hard thing is to control this weapon. Uh, yes, we probably need to make it stand still as well. God damn it, it's hard. I had to switch some of the propellers off manual, uh, like automatic control and switch them to manual because it was just so unreliable. I was kind of surprised um, in terms of how like, 
when I went, went backwards, they weren't moving because they were also set to like pitch up or something. So I've been using like manual uh, automatic control, I mean a lot for this, but I'm starting to feel like that's just uh, probably stupid laziness and that we should always use uh, manual control so we can set them up ourselves. Right. Now we have successfully maneuvered in front of the enemy, maybe a little bit here. Something like that. Okay, very nice. Now we should be able to make a little share here. Okay. Ta-da! And now we should be able to shoot this weapon. Very nice. Now we can slow down time. Very nice. And oh damn, our energy is really drawing here. Okay. And fire a shell. No, okay. So, let's set it to the slowest time. Yeah, okay, it's already at that. And we need the barrel to cool down a little bit. All right. Now another shell is coming. And it's bouncing. <laughs> All right. This is the damage it did. It didn't drop the EMP there. Right. So I guess we're going to try at the flat surface like that. See if we deal some damage. Right, another shell is incoming. The lamb is targeting it. Oh, they actually took it out. Darn. I'm kind of surprised. This is like a proper high speed shell. How can they take it out? Anyways, let's fart this area then. I got the shot incoming. And boom, okay. So here is what it does. It penetrated, boom, 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 boom. Some blocks here. And we're releasing an EMP right inside of there. Wow, that's some cool wine barrels. I didn't I didn't see the wine barrels before. Uh, not to get distracted, but that's, that's cool. Yeah, uh, anyways. I'm gonna fire down here. Right, so we were able to penetrate, boom, boom. That's a few block in, and inside there, the EMP got released. Yeah, I think, I think this armor piercing EMP can do some damage. We can change it to armor piercing frag as well, pretty easily. But I kind of feel like we actually set up a proper, proper cannon here. That's kind of cool. It, I mean, it works kind of. So let's actually, let's actually turn on this AI here and just let it wreak havoc against the enemy there. Because honestly, I feel like we have uh, accomplished our goals and it's kind of evil we'll just turn it on as well to see some obvious flaws this is an expensive cannon sure we're up to 1.6 million which is kind of expensive i don't know how much this turret costs uh, this aps system costs 70,000 but um it seems to be a pretty good gun. Now, we can't record all this damage here, so let's just clear it. Yeah, and this laser is really frying away here. And the armor-piercing EMP probably will be able to disable some uh, damage-dealing systems. Just computers and stuff like that. Of course, we like to... Uh, 
now I kind of forgot to turn that on, but whatever. Um, w we might change it to armor piercing frag because that's like more popular and s people seem to like it a lot. Ah, these heat missiles are just great. I love them. But yeah. I must say I'm kind of happy with the design so far. One thing it should probably have is have its own shield projector on there. Uh, so we can kind of uh, avoid some of that incoming damage. But other than that, I think we're pretty good. Stronghold 86 percentages. We can't take on his missiles. No, we really can't. And I tried to change this pack to EMP instead. I haven't decided. It seems that piercing frag is the best thing to do for this. Like for heavily armored targets, I guess piercing frag, piercing, piercing particle cannon. Did I say frag? Anyways, I'm getting tired. A piercing particle cannon is uh, the thing to go with. Why are we as siding the enemy here. Oh no, it just melts. Oh, I think I need to upgrade the uh, distance it sh the failsafe work at. Man. It kind of accidentally sheared off our <laughs> detection tower <laughs> and the poor roof of this house. It shouldn't be facing this direction. What's happening, really? What is it doing? No, yeah, all whatever. By the way, our main turret... I wonder what AI it's connected up to. Let's just go down here into the guts of the turret. And... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, the other side then. There we have it. Filter none. Uh, receiver channel 2. Okay, it's set up to the correct one. Great. That's what I was hoping. Because otherwise it will target blocks about, uh, beneath water and uh, we can't have that with the current shell we're shooting. Stronghold. Da -da 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 -da. Well, we can beat the stronghold without any problem. We could do that before as well, but... Uh, yeah. And it seems that the EM... It seems that the... Armor-piercing EMP might have had done some good damage here. Because none of the turrets are active. Uh, we seem to have fried something important, so that's pretty cool. And the crams, whenever the enemy stands still... The crams just come raining down, and that's just absolutely beautiful. They take a considerable amount out. Anyways, I think that this will be it for this little installment of building a battleship. Um, this is my first proper try at an armor piercing. Um, Armor piercing EMP or anything else, actually. So that's pretty cool. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and if you did, please do leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Uh, post your suggestions in the comments, and I'll be reading them. So I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jim Desmond. We're signing out.